Oh my God. Bill, stop texting me. <laughs> I'm gonna tag I gotta tag him now. <laughs> Bill, we're live. Stop <laughs> texting me. I love you. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> uh, All right. Anyway, we're good. <laughs> he's funny. He just commented on the thing too. Yep. Yeah, Bill. Yeah, Bill. Give you Leave a shout alone. out right at the get. <laughs> all right, guys. Welcome. Welcome to Focus Friday, my friends. It is uh it is already starting out to be a fabulous day. And we're gonna break down some uh we're gonna break down some awesomeness for you guys, man. We're gonna break down some uh what's going on out there in the world and you know, and have some fun. I'm just gonna tag a few folks here, let people know that we're live, they can jump on board and Come say hello. And, uh, hello. you know, hey, partner in crime. How are you doing, Kirsty? What's going on over there in uh, Colorado? You know, the use. It's getting to be better weather. So that's nice. Yeah, man. Nice weather day out today. Sun's out. It's beautiful. Can't make up its mind, though. Last week it was going to snow. And then this week it's like in the 70s, I think. So yep. what the heck? Whatever. <sighs> But what do we know, though? We know that uh, things are rocking and rolling in SHG. There's a new marketing system out there. Yeah, we're going to talk about that today, right? Yes. We're going to talk about that, which is fun and exciting. And uh, I, let me just grab some links here. So I want to show everybody the sales page, the capture page, the um, kind of what you guys need to know as far as navigating the whole, uh, the whole doodad there. Um, so you guys, so we can obviously talk about that. And I know I've already seen, you know, some of you guys have already had questions. Hey, you know, do we use one versus the other? Uh, what about this? What about that? So we'll, we'll obviously we'll talk about that. And then we're going to throw down some serious, serious, uh, mindset tips. And I want to give you guys some insight. And I know Kirsty definitely wants to chime in on this and really talk about, uh, treating, your business like a business, like a job, you know, because this is some serious stuff that we need to talk about. And um, I think it's going to be the difference maker for some of you guys versus like, you know, dipping your toes in versus going and actually getting some uh, really amazing results. So uh, Kirsty, anything before we get going? Do you want me to talk about that now? Or do you want to do housekeeping crap? Um, Let's Let's save that for last. I like to okay. really save that, like that good stuff for last, kind of like we did last week where it just kind of like, as we went on last week, it just got like better and better and better. <laughs> yes, it did. We watched it back. We're like, wow. <laughs> You're like, Hey, like that's your value, value <laughs> folks. Come on. <laughs> Why is this not? Right, let me see. This is kind of I'm tagging the crap out of people. Can you see my concentrating face? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm also trying to, uh, uh -huh. I'm also trying to, uh, pull up the information that I need. I'm just trying to get the sales page and the other page loaded here. Oh, you know what? Let me just do that. Let me go, uh, boom. I'll just log myself in again here. That way I will get to the sales page. All right. Boom. There we go. Okay, cool. Now we're good. Now we're good. All right. Yeah. Let's, um, oops. Hey, now dropping crap dropping my phones, dropping my phones. Um, all right. So let's go over the housekeeping first. Let's go over okay. that. Going to talk about that. Talk about that. So housekeeping, I just, and this is really easy guys. This is really, really simple. So, um, and this is just kind of what I've been seeing with people joining every day. Uh, it's really, really important guys. When you get a brand new member to try to get them placed um, as as soon as possible. And I'm not going to call it video. I'm not going to name any names, but oftentimes as an example, what I'll see, and this, is, this is how I can tell we'll have anywhere between like 15 to 20 new members come in per day on our team. And I can, and how I see this is I log into my members area. I go on the left-hand menu and then I click on commissions and then I click on uh, whatever the tab is. Uh, I think it's just sales. Let me kind of explain it. I can even just show you guys so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about here. Uh, so let me just share my screen, show you guys a quick little 
what, what I'm talking about right here. So you log in, okay, you log into your members area. And then I come over here on the left-hand side, I click this menu and then I click compensation. All right, so I go over here, I click compensation. And then in the members area, I click on commission report right here. All right, so I'll click commission report and I like to see you know, who's out there, who's making sales. So as an example, and this is just one, um, you know, just one example right here. And again, I'm not going to like call any about anybody out or name names, but I just want you guys to, to think about this and why can't I pull up? There it is. Hang on a second. So you can see right here, I got a fast start there. And then we have three more fast starts that came in literally in the middle of the night that came in at like 2 a.m right there. So that's four fast starts so far. So as of this morning, you know, just an example, like nobody's been placed. So of those fast starts that came in, those people haven't been placed, which I know some of you guys wait. Sometimes you guys want to like talk to somebody, place them in a specific area. I get all that. But as what I'm telling you guys now is at just as an example, sometimes we'll have 15 to 20 fast starts in a day but I'll only get like 10 email notifications that people were actually placed. Right. So meaning that sometimes people might be sitting there pending placement for like 24 or 48, even up to 72 hours. And then guys, what happens after 72 hours if you don't place them? Who knows the answer to this? What happens after 72 hours if you don't place your brand newest member? Drop a comment. What do you got? What happens? Kirstie, I know you, I know, you know, this answer. I know Bill knows <laughs> that's this why answer. I'm being quiet. <laughs> yeah. What happens after 72 hours? Yes, that's right. They get auto placed. They get auto placed, meaning that the system's just going to plop them in uh, wherever they see fit. Right. So for you guys, like it's, it's important. Number one, when, when someone's not placed, all right, they, um, when they actually do get placed, they get an email notification that they that they got placed. So when they join, they get an email and the email says pending placement. And then when you actually place them, they get an email that says, hey, you're placed. So you don't want them to get an email that says pending placement. And then they're waiting for days before they hear anything, before they know what's going on. Right. So just kind of do that service to your brand newest member, try to get them placed soon. So that way the system doesn't auto place. And again, I'm only kind of giving you guys feedback based on what I'm seeing on average over the last couple of weeks, you know, we're bringing in 15 to 20 people per day, but I'm only seeing about eight to 10 of them actually get placed. So mm -hmm. just make sure when you get that notification, and this is also in the team training site as well. It explains, Hey, when you get this email, do this, when you get this email, do this. All right. Mm -hmm. It's down in the advanced section. So uh, it's actually in the section that says when you sponsor someone, like what happens. Um, so just make sure you guys are in tune with that. That's it for housekeeping. Simple, easy stuff. When you get a member, place them. That's it. Super easy, right? Super easy. All right. So now let's get into, let's get into the new system. New system. They just launched a brand new marketing system. And we've already gotten lots and lots and lots of questions. Kirsty, I know people have reached out to you and said, hey, yeah. There's this new thing. Like, so what yeah. are you hearing on your end? What are, what are people saying? What are you hearing? Uh, what are people asking you guys? So a couple, couple of you, well, let's see, like five or six of you this week have reached out saying, hey, are you going to use the new funnel system that Steve has coming out? Um, even when it was announced, I think on Wednesday, had a few messages being like, oh, so does that mean we're not going to do our own funnel anymore because they now have theirs? We don't have to worry about autoresponders because they have theirs, things like that. Heck no. Heck no, <laughs> people. You want to know why? Because Daniel and I are so focused on you guys and your success in this business. It's awesome that Steve is doing what he's doing. In fact, he got the idea from us, just saying. Okay. Which well, is awesome. Yeah, we'll, we'll show you that too. <laughs> yeah, we'll show you guys. They, they're imitating what we're doing because our team is doing so well. So do not fix what's not broken. You know what I mean? I will put a caveat on there though. If you look at the VSL that Steve put together, to me, it's more catered towards a warm market, which is great. Yeah. That could work. And if you love it and your avatar wants that, use it. But I challenge you to, to do both if you're going to use theirs because we know that ours works. And the original, I'm just saying, 
it's the original. So you can't really beat the original. We know what converts. We know that it works. Um, the fact that they're imitating our team is a huge compliment. So you guys should be so excited about that because it's working. It's working. In fact, they reach out. They reached out to Daniel probably more than me about this because he's like the funnel guru. Am I right? And Steve and I talked on the phone a couple of times about, Hey, how can we approach it as affiliate marketers without just being like super, super cold traffic? Like how can we still develop relationships? Right. You guys, we have relationships on our team. I intentionally know every single one of you. I've talked with you specifically, right? Especially if I'm your direct sponsor and Daniel feels the same way. So when I got those messages saying, Hey, should we do this? Should we alter? Are you guys going to not that you said it this way? Just how I explained it to Daniel was, are we going to like pump the brakes? No, no, we are still going to have our own autoresponder. We're still going to be sending emails for you guys. We know they convert. We know our funnels convert. In fact, our VSL coming out that we're working on today, like we're sending it over to the editor today, officially. It's going to be my voice and Daniel's voice. You pick which one your avatar is. It's going to resonate. You have to expect it to resonate with your people. And if you want to use Steve's and what he has coming out, awesome. But guess what? It's a replica. <laughs> so use what works, you know, test it out. Pick what you feel is best. The end. There you go. Yeah. And it's, you know, you guys hear this before, like um, imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, right? And that's, yes. and that's really what it is. And that's, and Steve reached out to me directly and, and basically said like, Hey, how can we kind of take what you guys are doing and yeah. model that? Because mm -hmm. plain and simple, like you guys got to look at it this way. Like there's a reason why they're modeling what we're doing. It's mm -hmm. because what we have works, mm -hmm. but also realize this, and this is pure gold. So pay attention to what I'm going to say here. Like they don't, it's not the same exact system. It's a lookalike in certain parts but it's obviously not the same exact system. It's not the same VSL. It's not the same language. Mm -hmm. And they don't have our training site. They don't have our Facebook group. They don't have our team. They don't have our daily disciplines. They don't have, it's like, they're just skimming the surface. Right. Right. They're just skimming the surface. And you got to understand like, you know, why they're doing it is it, they're doing it because obviously what we have works and they want mm -hmm. a system that most network marketing companies don't have funnels. They yeah. just don't. Most net, some do, but most network marketing companies don't have funnels. They don't have any sort of video sales presentation. And that's what we're trying to do. They're trying to bridge the gap. Like Kirstie was saying, they're trying to like bridge the gap between affiliate marketing and network marketing where we can mm -hmm. have this, you know, not we, but like the whole company can have this sales video that helps sell the opportunity. And that's right. really what it's for but they're doing it in a way now where they can funnel people in, they can capture the lead and then they can allow obviously their members to follow up with the leads based on what they put in place. So let me share my screen and I want to give you guys a real good nugget at the end of this, because uh, I'm going to share a little secret sauce of what I did yesterday and what you guys can do today and kind of literally kind of clone exactly what I'm doing. All right. So I'm going to share my screen and I'll show you guys like what's up. So this page right here, you guys should all know this page right here. This is our page. I'm going to even open up the, I'm going to open up the team training site. So there's like no, uh, literally like no confusion here. Okay. All right. So we're going to go into. I'm going to be tagging people as you do this. Yeah, yeah. So, so enjoy my concentrating face. <laughs> yeah, sure. So step number two, guys, I mean, obviously you guys can see. Uh, inside of our team, oops, that. inside of our team training site, this is the original capture page. Okay, you guys can see that right here, right in the center of your screen. This is our original capture page right here. All right. So that's what we first started using uh, a couple months ago when we first launched our, our stuff, our site. And that's what this capture page is right here. So this is, this is our team's site. Okay, this is our capture page. This is ours. Now, this is the savings highway. I'll just call it corporate because I don't want to confuse SHG versus savings highway. So this is our team's site. This is the corporate site. Oops, my bad. This is the corporate site. Our team site, corporate site. Our team site, corporate site. I mean, you see the similarities? 
you guys see the similarities obviously and so they wanted to obviously clone mirror model clone what's working now there's no right here there's no subheadline so a couple of differences let's talk about the differences there's no subheadline right there they also added a name a name field right here where ours doesn't have a name field it's just email uh, they have some extra disclaimers in there which we don't because Ours is private party. It's, you know, it's, it's a third party, private party. It's managed and owned and run by me. So we can kind of put on there whatever we want. Yeah, same color, same font. Uh, and again, they're trying to model and clone. So obviously there's some extra things on here that they have to have for legalities, you know, mm -hmm. for obviously they're, a, you know, a public company. So they have to have specific things on here that we don't have to have, which is also why our page is a little cleaner right? Mm -hmm. There's not as much words. Theirs is a little more busy. They have stuff down at the bottom. So that's why our page is a little cleaner. Their page has a little more information. Now the sales page, this is our original sales page here. So obviously it's, you know, again, simple, clean, you know, straight up. This is the, this is the company sales page right here. So again, our team sales page, corporate sales page, much different, much different. But the font on here, like up at the top here, the font is the same as it is on the capture page. And you guys will notice the video. Obviously, this is the video playing here. I got it on mute, but this is the video playing. And you guys will notice that the words, the way they appear on screen, the editing, the B-roll, the clips, the, you know, the money scenes, all that stuff looks very similar to our videos. It's because we use the same video editor. And then Steve and I talked about this and he specifically asked for my help and said, hey, do you know a good video editor? And I said, well, obviously, yeah, we have our video editor. So they're using the same video editor. So that's why it looks very, very similar. But again, kind of what Kirsty mentioned earlier, this video right here and, and ultimately like the whole sales page, it's designed a little more towards a warmer market, a little more towards warm traffic. And also something to think about here too, is this sales video specifically mentions the name of the company. It specifically mentions Savings Highway Global. Now, here's my two cents on that. When you're in watching a, a sales presentation, when you're watching a sales video and the name of the company is given away, what can happen? Who can answer this question? What can happen if the name of the company is mentioned? I'll Who knows you. the answer to this? <laughs> and this is something that anytime you're putting out a VSL, a, a sales page, a capture page, a sales funnel. This is what you need to be aware of. All right. What happens when, what happens when the name of the company? Yeah, there you go. They can, you can lose them. They can Google it. So someone could easily come over to here and go, oh, Savings Highway Global. What is that? Let me type in Savings Highway, right? They come over here and they go Savings Highway Global. Uh, let me look up this. Let me go here and let me go look at all this other stuff here, okay? So you could lose them. And look at, look at this right here. Look at this right here, okay? Here's, here's exactly why we don't want to do something like this. I'm gonna blow this up so you guys can see it, all right? Hang on, come on. I'm gonna blow this up so you guys can see this. Look at these first two. So I type in Savings Highway Global. You guys see this? What is this? Savings Highway Global. Savings Highway Global right here. The first two links that come up with the Savings Highway Global search. These are not corporate sites. This is somebody else's Savings Highway Global link that they are paying money for. They are ranking their ads on, on Google. So they're using Google, Google keywords. They're, they're writing ads. So if someone goes to search Savings Highway Global, chances are they're going to end up on you know, another team. They're, they're not going to end up under you if they're, if they're your lead. Right. Yeah. So that's again, just something, something to keep in mind. And can I again, put a plug in there too? Yeah. So I get this a lot and here's some perspective. Cause I know you guys have experienced it too. This is a mindset shift. Okay. If I know it's called savings highway global, and then I go Google it, and then I look at reviews and I go down a rabbit hole of all these whiners, complainers who the business didn't work for. It's a scam because I didn't work my business, but I'm a butthead and don't say that. Right. I'm going to blame the company because I'm a freaking victim. 
that person then will message you if they do. Well, the reviews are really crappy and blah, 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 this person, blah, blah, blah. So do you have real proof of people saving money? Well, yeah, we do. But you don't want to give them something to have to go research to think about it more because when you have a fence sitter, they're going to approach their business like a fence sitter. I don't have time. I can't do it. Wah, 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 right? Here's a perspective for you, though. If ever you have someone say, well, the reviews, blah, 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 okay? No matter if they think it's positive or negative, you could also look up reviews of Disney World and convince yourself never to go there. But am I still going to go with my kids? Yeah. There's bad (laughs) reviews about milk. (laughs) Right. Well, yeah, exactly. Something large that is successful is going to have reviews of hate because people are victims and because the people online, just like the news, they're going to say the negative. They're not going to say the positive. So just put it into perspective. Look, Bob, you've got four kids. Have you ever been to Disney World? Oh, yeah, we went last summer. Cool. Do you know how many negative reviews are there? Oh, right. It just lays them perspective, you know. What kind of emphasis do they want to give on something they read from someone they don't know? So plain and simple, guys. I mean, obviously, we have the original system here, and they're modeling and cloning what we're doing. So again, corporate site, our team site, corporate site, our team site. So if so, if you see a lot of similarities, there's obviously a clear-cut reason for that. Um, they're trying to model and clone what we're doing. And you know, keep in mind, like nothing is better than the original system. Um, because yeah. what we have works, we know it works. It's proven, it's documented. You can't debate it, you know, moving on. If you guys want access to, <laughs> now you guys might say, okay, well, how is this going to convert? If I use it, uh, what's going to happen? As always, guys, you can certainly test it if you want to. We're going to come over here to the dashboard and you guys have access to, there's two different corporate pages, okay? There's one basically that has just has name and email, and then there's one that just has has name, email, and phone. Obviously, you guys are going to be able to know which one is going to get a better opt-in rate. So landing page one is the one that, that's that's literally this one right here. That's landing page one, okay? So landing page two is the same exact thing, except it just has the phone number. So that's really the difference between the two right there, but it's the same page, uh, it just has a phone. So if you guys want to use that, you certainly can. Uh, there is going to be follow-up emails going out for you. Uh, the difference is you will have access to these leads. Uh, so as, as always, guys, if you guys want to test it, you guys got to market what you feel resonates best with you. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you, no, don't use this. You only have to use our system. I'm not going to tell you that. If you, right. guys, if you guys opt in, the best thing for you to do really is to go to one of your own landing pages, like literally go to your landing page, opt in, see the information you get, Go, and yes, it is. If anyone's curious for anyone that is familiar with um, email marketing, there is, yes, a double opt in. So you do have to click and confirm that you want to receive those emails. So they're using a double opt in versus a single opt in. So, you know, your ratio, if you're looking at how many clicks you get or how many, you know, clicks you get to how many leads you have, it is going to be lower because it is a double opt in but the lead might be higher quality, okay? It's just like getting a lead on YouTube versus getting a lead from cold traffic. A lead from YouTube or social media, it's always gonna be a little higher quality because it's someone that's possibly seen you and knows who you are. So it's a warmer, higher quality lead. So again, you guys are gonna, the best thing you guys are gonna have to do, opt into your own page, click to confirm, watch the sales video. If you like what you see, then by all means, you can be sending people to your capture page. You can be sending people to your, you know, corporate landing pages. It's totally up to you. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm not going to tell you one way or the other, like, Hey, don't use this, use that. All I will tell you is that our system works and it converts extremely well, especially, and just to let you guys know, especially right now, this is, this is the best converting page. And this is the best converting uh, VSL. And this is the the VSL that Kiersey and I are working on right now. We're redoing this VSL we're making it more up to date. We're giving it more tie downs, more specific information. Uh, so we're literally in the process of remaking, uh, re- making the video for this funnel right here, uh, which is going to be real. It's going to be super hot. It's going to be super hot. We're like 95% of the way there. We're almost done. That should be in your hands by next week. And mm-hmm. when I mean in your hands, I mean, we're literally just going to swap out 
<laughs> the newer VSL for the old VSL. There's nothing you guys need to do. Uh, we're just going to rock it and roll it, but that's going to be ready to go. So uh, that's going to be and there. Including yeah, and titanium. Exactly, yep. Yeah, exactly. It, inclu- it includes titanium. Okay. So now here's something to think about. I just made a brand new video for YouTube yesterday. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to make it live today. All right. And I compared just like I showed you, I did a comparison of, Hey, this is our team. This is what savings highway corporate just did. Look, they're trying to copy what we're doing. However, nothing beats the original. Like you guys want like the OG of like how to build and grow this business. You guys need to get here. Like we have specific things that we do on our team, like the daily disciplines, the team training sites, the teachable Tuesday, multiple funnels, multiple sales pages, webinars, all of that stuff that could be custom coded to you. We have that. They don't. So if you want the original, like best system to help build and grow your savings highway business, you need our stuff. And by the way, you know, yeah. And by the way, like you can also get the savings highway corporate stuff by being on our team, but you can't join someone else that's not on our team and then get our system. You can only get our system with us. So I just made a YouTube video that kind of explained that. If I were you, perfect timing, perfect timing. Mm-hmm. People love, especially like when there's something new in a company, when there's a new launch, when there's a new product, when there's a new funnel, when there's a new marketing system, when there's a new compensation plan update. That is the time to strike while the iron's hot and get that content out there to YouTube, get that content out there to social media. So So. Jamie had a a quick thought and I thought the same thing when Daniel and I first talked about it, like, oh, they're cloning our stuff. Okay. That's great. We knew that though. I mean, we knew that because we were talking with Steve about it and we knew that they were trying to approach and somehow do a funnel system, et cetera. So we knew that. Um, it's not rude to say on the video, depending how you say it. Don't like, you're not saying, oh, SHE corporate sucks and see ha ha, they're cloning our stuff. No, you would lead with something, Jamie, like it's such a flattering thing. Our business has grown so much. Look at all of what we're doing that corporate decided to say, oh my gosh, we've got to clone what they're doing. And we're in collaboration. We're not in competition, but if you want to have our exclusive and our ongoing emails, not just 30 days. Like you, you can compare the two without making it sound rude. You can compare the two without like discrediting corporate. Does that make sense? Yeah. And that's perfect because, and that's, and that's what I did. I I took like playful little jabs where I kind of said, and, and, you know, you guys can come across how you want. And Mm -hmm. I I, I was playful with it where I kind of let in with a, a clickbait thumbnail that said, Oh no, they didn't. And I just said, and I jokingly said, Hey, the gloves are coming off. Like they stole our system. And then I kind of said, listen, this is flattery. You know, I don't blame, Mm -hmm. I don't blame them for cloning what we're doing because what we have is awesome and it works. Hey, let me show you our numbers. Look over a thousand people on our team. Look duplication. Mm -hmm. And I showed right on camera how like, Hey, I've personally sponsored, you know, 200 plus people, but we have over a thousand on our team. What's that? that's duplication. Clearly what we have works, you know? So, and I just said, it's a tip of the cap. You know, they basically said, oh, wow, look at what Daniel and his team are doing. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can model that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to come across like, cause if you do like, if you do like, oh, they suck, they stole our system. Then it's like, (laughs) why would I want to join you? Like you're saying your company sucks. Like why? Like, no, it's, it's, it's like, man, but they, look what they did, man. They, they took our system, but it's like, right. Hey, ours is still the best. Look at what they're doing. They're trying to model us because what we have works so well. So if you do want right. what works so well, you want to get in right here, you know? Like for example, Hey guys, Kiersey Snyder here back at you for this video. We're going to be talking about how our corporate side of things decided to clone what we're doing. Why? Why my friend? Because what we're doing works. What a compliment. And then, you know, compare the two. If you want, you know, say that we do the email follow-up, it's customized to you, whatever. Make the differences, but don't make the differences about us, not the differences about corporate only does 30 days. And, you know, it's not customized to you. And, you know, you just make it about us. You make it about us and our team and the momentum that we have. And when you get in with our team, we'll be able to help you specifically, blah, 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 right? 
So yeah, good, but good. From a content standpoint, guys, if you guys are, if you guys are for those of you guys that are getting out there and making those YouTube videos, this is a perfect time. It's it's the same thing when you know when they added the new titanium into the compensation plan. Like that's the time to make a compensation plan video. Right. That is exactly. the time to make those. And I explain this for those of you guys that have it inside of YouTube University, when you're ranking for keywords and you're making your video and you're speaking those keywords and you're saying those keywords, um, you know, and you're putting those keywords in your description. Now is the perfect time for these four words, savings, highway, global review. Okay. Savings, mm -hmm. highway, global review. It is the perfect time to make a video and do a review of savings, highway, global. And then you put in your thumbnail, like, whoa, update, crazy, oh my gosh. And then you put like in your, you know, you can put it in your very first headline that says, oh no, what did they just do? And you can get people's attention with that. But you use the mm -hmm. keywords, savings highway global review, because that right. is like the second most commonly searched word when looking up savings highway global. So now's a great time to mm -hmm. uh, get out there and go make that content. Now, moving on. If you guys have any questions on what we just talked about, let us know. But um, moving on, I think we need to talk about some important stuff here, Kirsty. You guys and you, uh, you and I have been talking about that this week about you know really treating this like a business and treating this as if it were your job. And yep. I guess we'll talk about what could happen. I'll ask you, interview style here. What would happen if somebody actually did the daily disciplines, if somebody actually plugged in, not just doing the daily disciplines, let's also talk about showing up. If someone participated as if it were their job, what could happen over a period of time? Let me just put it to you straight. If you guys would approach your SHG business as if it's your job where you're clocking in, you have a boss, you're getting paid a salary you would have minimum two sales a day. You would. And here's how I know that because I'm trading it that way. So allow me to be proof that what I'm saying is real. This isn't like this. We are not your boss. We do not give a dang. If you show up for your content, we more give a dang why you don't show up for your content. Because that to me says, yeah, I'm just really not aligned with my goals. I guess I just kind of spent 20 bucks or 200 bucks or a hundred bucks for like no reason. I'm not really sure. Right. And then who are you attracting people who aren't really sure, right? When you treat your SHG business, although maybe a side hustle right now for some of you, if you treat it like a job, you would have more success. I gave the example to Daniel last night as we were talking about this. So we had attention and focus for you guys today is if I was feeling under the weather last night, but I already had a babysitter set for my kids. And I knew I had to be at work and clock in at nine o'clock. And I was setting up my lunch for the day to pack with me. And, but yeah, I was feeling under the weather. You better believe because I need to go to my job and clock in to be paid that I would go to bed early, that I would make sure to, you know, take Benadryl or to blow my nose or to whatever I got to do to make sure that I hope right? To feel better in the morning, because regardless of me feeling a little under the weather, I would still feel like I have to go to work. Does that make sense? If you guys were to approach your SHG business, like you have no choice, but to make content. Like if you're, for example, if there's no red live button in the corner, that means you're catching the replay. If you have a nine to five currently, and you're not able to hop on live with us three times a week, if you were to treat focused Friday, teachable Tuesday, mindset Monday, like a meeting where you schedule it into your calendar, just the same as your boss says, Hey, today we're meeting at three to three 30, right? If you were to do that, when you catch the replay, if you were to always make content, regardless of being sick, right? You would have way more success in this business because what we find what, okay. Okay. Let's just shoot it to you straight. Bring it. Could, could you go, could you go to your boss right now and say, you know, I'm just really not in the mood today. Can you pay me anyway? <laughs> no. So when you guys come to us with excuses of, I don't feel good. I'm not in the mood. I don't know what to do. I'm not attracting people. I'm not getting sales. I don't know how to close. I don't know how to DM. What content do I put? Blah, 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 blah. First of all, everything's laid out for you in um, Teachable Tuesday. 
Second, you could it never is. go to your boss and say that, you know, I just don't really feel like showing up to the meeting today. Can you like catch me up on it later? Maybe. No, you'd freaking be fired. <laughs> you know what I mean? The good news is you're not fired with SHD. Your success is yours. You get to determine your paycheck. You get to determine your sales, not your boss, not someone tell you what, telling you what you're worth. So combine the two, treat your business like it's your job, clock in, have a dedicated time. Hey, husband, I need to do this YouTube video today for 30 minutes. I'm so excited to do it. I'll spend time with you as soon as I'm done, right? Hey, my son Braxton, all the time, all the time. Mom, 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 look, look, look. And he knows that on certain days at certain times, I'm going to be producing content, even with my kids running around and being crazy. So what I've decided for myself is I will tell Braxton, Brax, I would love to look at what you're doing. Can you give me two minutes? Or I stop what I'm doing and do it right then with him. It, it depends, right? But that allows me to be a better mom by communicating. And it allows him to be understood as a kid without being like, oh, I'm too busy. Sorry. Like there, there's a way to have them in harmony, not in sacrifice. Okay. And I know for a fact, if you guys were treating your SHG side hustle like a job where you're clocking in, you have no reason to give excuses because like Steven said, F you, you're fired, right? You would have way more success. But a lot of you guys are pulling excuses. If I don't know how I'm brand new, it'll take time. No, I've been at corporate jobs, sales mostly where I'm on the phone. I'm the brand new guy and I'm at the top of the leaderboard soon. Why? Not because of me, but because of my mentality. I'm going to get there. I know I will. I'm going to put in the work right now. Not I'm new and I can't. You feel me? All 37 of you put make sense in the comments if you agree with that. And if you don't, honestly, if you have a yeah, but tell me, tell us right now, because we want to help you overcome that obstacle rather than it determining your success. You feel me? I'll take that a step further. So obviously that makes perfect sense. And, you know, when you treat it like a job, as if you're like, literally as if your future depended on it, because realistically it does, whether you want to accept it, it or yeah. not. Because if you don't want to accept it and you're just going to be like, well, I'll dabble, I'll see if it works. I'll, you know, try to throw enough mud against the wall and see if it sticks. Then, you know, your future is going to be determined by your lack of effort. And you're just right. going to be in the same old spot months from now or a year from now versus right. if you actually commit to it and go do it. And here's, and here's where you can, and this is where it really starts to get serious. Now we talk about this a lot and we'll drill this down with exactly what Kirsty just said is now what you have to do is you got to own your time. Mm -hmm. You got to drill down and you got to start time blocking. And this is, this is where you actually take your business and you make it your job. Okay. Yep. So you take your business and make it your job, take your business, make it your job. You time block and it doesn't matter what your household is, what your situation is. You can do this in all situations. Everyone is going to be a little bit different. So don't compare yours to anybody else's because everyone's family home situation is all, like, Trust me, mine's different from yours. Mine's different from Kirstie's. Kirstie's is different from mine. Kirstie's is different from Jamie's and Sean's and everybody else's. So now you time block. You might have to, and you probably will have to negotiate with family members or the people that you live with. It could be a significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, whoever. You might have to negotiate with them and say, listen, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, from four in the afternoon till six in the afternoon till dinner time. This is where I'm at. I am not to be disturbed. I need your help, babe, babe. I need your help. Can you watch the kids? Can you do this? Can you, can you pick Susie up from soccer practice? This is my time. I need this time every single week so I can do what I got to do. And you plan it out. You block it out. You communicate with your family. You communicate with your kids. You communicate with your significant other. Say, this is my time. You shut the door. You put a do not disturb sign up on the door. You, mm -hmm. you're going to work. Yep. You are literally going to work. So yep. in that time frame, and before you get there. So as an example, if let's in this example, if you're going to block out, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, that's going to be your job time. On Sunday afternoon, you're going to sit down with a notebook and a pen, and you're going to be like, all right, I got to send out, 
an email. I got to message five friends. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do this. I got to do that. Boom, 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 boom. And by the way, we've given you a checklist with the daily disciplines. You guys have mm-hmm. a checklist, but you can make your own checklist. So that way, you know, you don't, you don't want to get to your job and go, oh, okay, what am I going to do? If you do that, you're toast. You're toast. You should know the second you clock in, in this example from four to six on a Monday afternoon, you should know as soon as you clock in and it's you working your business time. All right, listen, I got eight things to do. I got to bust a move. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Let's make some content. Boom. Let me grab my phone. Hey, what's up, Daniel here? Blah, 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 blah. You do that. You repurpose it. You throw it over here. You make a YouTube video. You know, you follow up with people. You post on Facebook, whatever you're doing. That's your job. You have to get yep. stuff done. Okay. But time yep. blocking and communication. Whoa, we've never really talked about that, have we? Time blocking yep. and communication in you and your life and your situation is critical to your long-term success. Yeah, yep. we talk about, man, we got this great VSL. We got this thing. It's so awesome. We got this great team training. We got Teachable Tuesday. We got these daily disciplines. We got all this great stuff. And sometimes it might just come down to the fact that you just got to man up and talk to your spouse. Yep. Like just the gotta, same you, as, as what guys you would talk to your boss. Yep. Right. If my newborn, she's barely over three months, she's sitting in her swing over here asleep. Okay. If, if she is grumpy, guess what? I still show up. If I recorded the VSL that we're doing for you guys, probably six or seven different times because of my children. So I can either use them as an excuse for why I cannot get it done, or I can say, you know what? I'm going to do it at 9 p.m. tonight when my kids are dead asleep and it's silent in the house because I'm dedicated. Where does the dedication come from, though, you guys? Logically, from treating it like a job, clocking in, clocking out. If, you know, an emergency happened and you had to leave work because your son fell off the couch and broke his face, okay, you would communicate with your boss. I got to run to the ER right? You would communicate with your spouse about it. So why are you not communicating with your spouse or your significant other or your children or your dumb excuses about how you need to get your button gear? Okay. You get your button gear because of two things, the desire to change and the discipline to follow through. If the discipline is not there, it's lacking. It's because your desire is not strong enough. Your desire has to be maximized. It's not enough just to, I want to save money. It's not enough to just, I want money. It's not enough to just, I help people save my bills. It's not enough to just be like, let's get out of debt. You have to connect to why those things matter because then you're not going to pull excuses because you will want to be in a different position rather than being like, ah, it's fine. It's Friday. So like I'm going into the weekend, not a big deal. Cause I'm so busy tomorrow on Saturday. My kids, this and my kids that yeah, bro. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Yeah, I'm finding the time. And am I perfect at it? No, of course not. Daniel's not perfect at it. None of us are perfect at it. But when you persist, that trumps any talent you have. When you persist, it all works out. But if you come in here willy nilly, you're going to attract people who are willy nilly. How can you tell someone, spend the time and do this and do that and the daily disciplines and get on TikTok and do YouTube? And how can you even say that if you're not doing it yourself? Am I right? Tell me if you guys agree. And also change your wording. A couple of you guys, and I'm not going to scroll up to say who, I don't even know right now, but probably four or five of you guys, just as Daniel was talking, have said, yeah, it's hard because it gets chaotic in my house. Or yeah, it's hard because I work three jobs. Or yeah, it's hard because I've got six kids. Or yeah, it's hard because I agree with you. I get it. But debunk that mentality. What's hard? Hard like what? A rock? Because when you challenge your belief system, when you say hard, what is hard? It's your definition. So change the definition. Because if something is hard, you're not going to do it. If you approach it like it's simple, you will do it. Everyone put in the comments right now, all 36 of you live, action cures fear. Mm -hmm. Action cures fear. It's not, do I have the time? It's that you're not putting yourself in a position to even start. It's not the doing of the YouTube video that bugs you. It's the starting of it. It's pressing the record button that bugs you. But once you press the record button, you have no choice but to go. How many, have you guys ever been on stage? 
like whether you're speaking at an event, whether you were a singer, whether you're an actor, you did dance growing up, whatever, who, who's been on stage before, you Man. know, that when those curtains go up, you have no choice, but to then what do your job perform as an actor, right? As soon as you hit that button to record a YouTube video or to go live or to produce a TikTok video or to send out an email, it's not that you can't send out the email. It's that you're not in the mood. But if you were to just start typing out the email, you would all of a sudden be in the mood. If you were to just click into TikTok and press record, although scary for some, it wouldn't be scary the next time because you already freaking did it. Hello. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's and, and with the whole action cures fear thing, it's like, and it and I'll use you as an example. Like you, you were um, you know, having a moment about a month ago, and you know, you and I specifically were talking about, you know, just once you just go make, even if you don't feel like it, go make one video, one mm -hmm. piece of content. And then once you do, it'd be like, oh, all right, well, that wasn't that bad. I guess I'll. I can go I make another, whip one. Out another one and it just, yeah. And it just gives you that, that confidence. It gives you yep. that little, it gives you that little boost to be like, Oh, that wasn't that bad because, and this is why guys, there, and there's a frame, there's a, there's a meme out there or whatever it is that just says like 99% of the things that we worry about never happen. So, yep. you know, keep that in mind. 99% of the things that we worry about never happen, but here's a reality. I'll just, everything that we just talked about, I'll wrap it all up with one of my favorite Jim Rohn quotes ever. And you guys can comment this down below. Okay. And it's, it's very similar to what I say all the time too. If you really want to do something, you'll find a way. If you don't, you'll find an excuse. Yep. That's Mike it. drop that crap. If you really want to do something, you'll find a way. If you don't, you'll find an excuse. So if you really wanted to treat this like a job, you would find a way to do it. If you yep. really wanted to get consistent, if you really wanted to negotiate with your spouse, if you really wanted to negotiate with your kids, if you really wanted to time block, if you really wanted to treat this like your job, you would do it. Otherwise, you're just going to come up with an excuse. Debate me on that. Yep. That's it. You so there you go. It. Little <laughs> tough love focus Friday, my friends. You got to get out there and just make it happen. Make it happen, Captain. That's it. Yep. 100%. All right, folks, let's wrap it up here. If you have any thoughts, questions, put them in the comments quick. We'll stay on for like 30 more seconds. If you have a thought or whatever that you need, you need to debunk. Okay. Your hashtag focus Friday for today is to focus on your goals so much so that the discipline falls through and focus on what works. Don't get distracted. I'm not saying about other businesses. Yes, that's true. But don't get distracted about what else is going on in SHG world unless you feel it applies to you and your avatar, okay? But the only way you're going to know that is if you get aligned with your goals. So go get focused, go hone in, and go get that discipline. Even if all you got to do, okay, this is in Atomic Habits by James Clear. He specifically talks about setting a timer. I don't remember if it's two minutes or five minutes, but he says, if, you, if you're not in the mood to go to the gym, we'll use that example. You time yourself for five minutes. And as soon as that starts, you start getting ready for the gym. You put on your shoes, you get in the car, whatever. The trick is not that it's going to take you five minutes to go to the gym and get a workout. The trick is, is that the starting of it's the problem. And when you time yourself and, and say, Hey, as soon as I press play or play, as soon as I hit the start button, I have no choice, but to do this, just like the curtains going up to perform on stage. You have no choice. The audience is there, right? Approach it like a job and it will pay you like a business later where your values increase and your bank account increases. All right. The end. That's it. I love Jonathan's it. comment. I need a first aid kit after this whooping. <laughs> right. Boom, boom. <laughs> you know, sometimes we, uh, we do, we do bring the tough love, but it's yep. again, it's, it's done out of love guys. You know, we're, we're literally here to share with you guys what works. And sometimes you guys need that little extra, extra push. But at the end of the day, you know, we can, we're all we're, all we're doing is we're leading you guys to the water. Yeah. We can't make you drink it. It's up to yep. you. Only you can drink it. We can't make you drink it. All we can do is lead you there and that's it. So 
that's it, guys. Focus Friday, done and out. And uh, if you guys have any questions on anything, uh, drop a comment. And um, on that, get out there and go market. Go do those daily disciplines. Great timing right now. Really, really great timing to put out some content about this new marketing system. Compare that to what you have. Talk about the team training. Talk about the daily disciplines. Talk about all the great benefits that our team has available. Uh, obviously, don't shoot the company down. Make it positive and and just say, hey, let's let's look at what they're trying to do. But you know, they're cloning it off of this because our team is doing so well. So if you want that, mm-hmm. give that CTA. Be good to go. Yeah. Rock and roll. Yep. Kirsty, anything else? No, just focus, guys. Just focus. Don't get distracted by the VSLs and crap, you guys. It'll be here next week. Chill the freak out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because some of you are commenting about it. And we'll see you on Mindset Monday, noon Eastern time, as usual. Talk to you guys soon. Later, guys. Bye.